It's Miniature Monday, and do you know where your miniatures are? Well, they're not here, because this is kind of a miniatureless Monday video. Uh, today we're talking Fallout Wasteland Warfare, which is a miniature game. Um, except we're just looking at the accessories for it. In this case, it would be the Nuka-Cola bottle caps. Um, yes, I'm an idiot, and I paid $16 for this. And, uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. Um, I got these just for counters and tokens. I, I plan on doing like a pen and paper tabletop Fallout role-playing game. Um, the one's been out for a while. I mean, long before Fallout 3's ever came out. There's just been a version where you just print online back when your modems for your internet made the funny noises uh, before you can connect to something. And it took a really long time to download stuff. So I got one of those lying around, the old pen and paper book. And uh, it's awesome. It's just got everything you need um, from the first two Fallout games, which were computer only. Uh, not a whole lot of people knew that. And, uh, and it was really fun stuff. So let's see what we got here for components. We have 50 Nuka-Cola bottle caps, one exclusive bottle cap mine card for use in Fallout Wasteland Warfare, stickers for customizing your Nuka-Cola bottle caps for use in Fallout Wasteland Warfare. This set of 50 distressed Nuka-Cola bottle caps made by a, British ma by a British manufacturer with an approved graphic design to resemble authentic Nuka-Cola caps. This set also includes stickers to allow you to use the caps as tokens, plus an exclusive weapon card for use in your game of Fallout Wasteland Warfare. Available for the very first time, these are the only official Nuka-Cola caps. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah, um, and they sound like they're really proud about that because, um, they are, uh, <laughs> um, Bethesda, Zenimax, or, or whatever entity really owns Fallout, is um, they're zealous about protecting their intellectual properties. Um, I make buttons, like little one-inch like pins that you put on your jackets and stuff. And I made a Fallout button. And this guy, I put it on eBay, and this guy bought everyone I had. And I said, I, I was like, okay, well, I can cut you a deal. And he goes, no, these are going to be collector's items soon. I said, well, why? He goes, because, <laughs> because you're going to get slapped with a cease and desist in about a couple hours. I was like, what? Sure as shit. I get all my postings for the buttons removed from eBay and get told never to do it again because Zenimax actually, you know, which is Bethesda, actually followed suit and said, hey, look, you can't sell those. Even though you made those, there are images, you can't have those. So enough ado about that there's these um these are pretty cool not sure about the kind of shiny underneath it it's super glossy so they don't look very distressed um there's folks on uh there's folks on etsy that make really good nuka cola bottle caps um which you know if you can get them before they get hit with also said season <laughs> this is orders uh definitely go for that um real shiny um, they got the rubber on the back, like a real bottle cap, um, and they're kind of uncrimped bottle caps. Um, if you ever bottle your own beer or bottle your own cider, I used to make my own cider, um, the bottle caps kind of come like this when you put them on the bottle and then use a crimping machine to, to crimp it on there. So these just basically look like he took a bunch of uncrimped bottle caps from the local brewery shop. And then just went super glossy on it. Um, not a big fan of the glossy. They're pretty cool. I mean, they, they are what they are. I mean, they're the only official Nuka-Cola bottle caps. Um, and to be honest with you, for $16 for 50 of these, they're a lot cheaper than you would probably get them on Etsy as well. And they're official. Um, if you can find them. Um, after I bought these, I couldn't really find any more of them anymore. So there's that. So I don't know. And so... And these fall out everywhere. So let's see what's inside here as far as rules go. Because some of you people just kind of want to see this for what kind of rules it has inside. So let's see what we got here. So we got a playing card with the Nuka Cola dispenser on the front of it. That's kind of neat. And a nice, I don't know if you can see this, it's a really nice textured card. 
and it's bottle cap mine. Here's the stats for it. And then it's classified as an item card for the intents and purposes of the game. I do want to buy all the miniatures for the game. Um, I'm kind of bummed out that they're 32 millimeter. I think that's way too big. I, they were 28 millimeter and they meshed well with a lot of the uh, the Reaper kind of post-apocalyptic miniatures and stuff that I bought. I'd be way happier. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll buy one of those sets and kind of open them up in comparison to what we got going on over here. So we got two sheets. These are exactly the same. And we got a couple green arrows. We got a, looks like nine ones. Uh, more twos. I really feel like counting on camera for you right now. Some fives and a 10. So they're basically like tally marks. Um, it would be really cool to put these in these and even if you're not using them for Fallout Wasteland Warfare, to just put those inside of these and then use them for life counters for like a game of magic or something. That I think that would be kind of cool because it'd give you like a nice little a nice little fallout sort of edge on that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video because I don't really try to make videos that people instantly hate. Um, and if you do enjoy it, I encourage you to give it a thumbs up. That kind of encourages me to well, get off my ass and make more videos. Um, if you didn't like it, hit thumbs down. That lets me know that maybe there's something in my process that I need to improve. And if you like watching somebody spend their money to open stuff for you um, that you might be interested in, so you don't have to waste your money and find out the hard way that something sucks, um, well, then hit subscribe, and you'll get a notification anytime I decide to post something new. Have yourself a great day, and, well, may all your hits be crits.